We hustle daily. What's going on, Hustle Nation? Welcome back to another video. It's your boy Big Play Ray coming to y'all with another video, man. Shout out to the whole entire Hustle Nation. Shout out to IAA, aka the Insurance Auto Auction guys, which is where we at right now. Make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. Hit the notification bell. Join the Hustle Nation if you haven't already done so. I appreciate and love you guys for all your support, man. We about to get right into it. Make sure y'all go to whdacademy.com. Y'all interested in learning how to buy, sell, and properly inspect cars at the auction. I'm gonna show you guys how to do it. Um, link is in the description below. whdacademy.com. Even if you're trying to buy a car from a private party, guys, I'm gonna show you guys how to do it so you will not get a limit. Now, I think this is the car. I gotta go ahead and double check in my list real quick because these wheels look a little funny here. So we have a 2000, well, it should be like a 2008 or 2009. Hold on, let me get my list out. We got a 2010, actually. Is this the vehicle, though? This is not the one. So we actually have to go down a little more. That's actually not the vehicle, guys. So we're looking for a Malibu. I just knew that one looked a little funny. I shouldn't have to walk this far down. I actually can't even see the pictures in my phone for real, for real. Because it's so freaking. Oh, I'm looking at the wrong car, y'all. I am tweaking. All right, hold on. All right, that actually is it. So bright out here, I couldn't really see in my phone. But yeah, we got a Malibu, man. Um, I guess, I guess, I don't know. Those wheels just threw me off, you know. A lot of, like, aftermarket wheels really throw a lot of people off. Despite what people may think, you know. Like, for example, even though this is not a Lexus, I'm going to use the Lexus as an example. Like, or Mercedes, right? If you had an S-Class Mercedes, I think uh, you will get more hits on it with the original wheels than you would with someone actually trying to... Um, uh, uh, someone who actually uh, had some other type of wheels on it, aftermarket wheels. This car is disgusting. I'm not even feeling it. It did crank up. It doesn't. Yes, it do. I gotta check into the light. Yeah, man. Y'all could just see how nasty it is. It's just disgusting, dude. So I'm actually straight on this one, y'all. Like, we ain't gonna waste no time today. We got a couple of cars to check out, and this one is trash right here. They actually had this uh, BMW here, the 6 Series. This got hit, though. It kind of got my attention because of the, uh, you know, the convertible. But it actually got hit. Let me see. right here it's pretty bad right there 650 convertible and what the hell happened right here jeez so let's keep moving guys this is a uh, trash what's up hustle nation this video has been sponsored to you by whdacademy.com the online course that's going to teach you everything you need to know about the auction game all my tips on how to properly inspect cars and most importantly how to make money as you can see i've been doing this for a while and as you can also see, I have plenty of testimonials on how I've helped others gain success in this business. So if you're interested in learning, be sure to click the link in the description below. All right, we got two right here. We got another GS350 uh, and then we have a, well, not another one, but we have a AGS350 and then we have a um, Infinity right here. Not Infinity, Infinity has flood damage. So we have to check that out, but GS350, the older one, you can see the, the top of it is black. Pretty cool. Black wheels. Don't really like that. They deleted all the chrome, look like. All that damn dust, I might wanna sit right here for a second. Let all that fly past. But uh, it's not that bad on the inside. It looks definitely a little, um, you know, has some got definitely has some wear and tear it deleted all the chrome like i said all of this usually is chrome they deleted it all 
Let's see if it cranks up. Oh, Lexus, man. No power. Y'all know how I feel about that, man. It has no power. I can't deal with it. It does have some damage there. Yeah, they deleted all the chrome, man. They went all black. Because they used to be having chrome right here around the headlights, too. And for the infinity with the flood damage, damn, this sheet need more than... Damn. Right here. The door. Thirty-seven. Okay, so I guess it's just that side. Two thousand thirteen. This one is here. I actually had one of these before. I think it was like a ten. I think. Well, it might have been like a oh nine. I forgot which one I had. It's the same like car. Let me see. Okay. Do have a little power? Let me get in here. I know I'm not tripping. I know that uh, that uh, Lexus have this too. They both have the little diamond thing. Okay, 113,000 miles. It is a rebuilt title, like I say. Um, this is what the inside's looking like. Uh, and that thing broke up there. Seems all right, let me put it on the scanner and see if we got something. Yeah, and this one is not gonna work, man. That's why you guys gotta come to the auction and actually check these cars out, bro, because just because something looks like it's gonna be good, it could not be good, man, so. And this one got a rebuilt title and everything. Anyway, where's the actual key to this damn thing? All I had to do was push the start, but I don't even see the like the real key. Oh, there it is, in there. So, yeah, man. All right, we have a, a, a Chevy Cruze here. We haven't had a Chevy Cruze before. Well, uh, cheap car, man. I was just talking to somebody too, man, and uh, expensive cars, bro. Like I was told y'all in the beginning, dog. It just takes too freaking long to sell, man. You'll be sitting on a car for a minute. Some people, damn, some people get a little lucky. Or they probably can sell it a little faster than others, maybe. But what it's looking like, guys, is expensive cars, man. All right, not the move, bro. Shit taking too long to sell. I was literally just talking to somebody about this. Man, that shit raggedy. See, that's why I say, man. Trash. That's why I say, man, you gotta come to the auction and preview, preview these cars, guys, because if you don't, you might end up crying. So let me walk down here, see if we got something else. Two, two more cars on my list. Let's see what we got. All right, guys, and here we have a Mercedes Benz uh, C300. Current bid right now on this thing is 17.9. Now it says it has front end damage, front left or front rear, which I don't see. It didn't say anything about being undercarriage damage or anything like that. It just said front. Um, I said front, rear, front, um, <laughs> front left or front right. My bad. But uh, got some different little Mercedes wheels on there. 17,900 though. What do you guys think about that? 17,900 for this thing. It's a lot of money, man. When you're buying cars like this, guys, you definitely will need to have uh, somebody with uh, a cash buyer or somebody who's willing to do like finance or something like that because stuff like this is basically like i was just telling y'all not the easiest to um get rid of you know what i'm saying super clean it does have a salvage title which like i told y'all i don't even see why we will try to crank it up and see what it sounds like i'm 
unfortunately. Button's not even working no more. You didn't even turn it off. All power's probably definitely dead. 17.9 though. Why do y'all think they salvaged this thing out? Let me know in the comments below. Oh, I did see this. My bad in the pictures. I forgot. They salvaged it out because of this. Really? So it was front left. You can see the uh, the uh, fender liner is gone too. There's another GS here. That one's blue. I like that blue. But uh, this was another one I wanted to check out. This Malibu as well. I had two Malibus on my list. That's why I got confused earlier. 17,900. Y'all get in the comments below and let me know if that, uh, what you call it, is worth it. And let me tell you how many miles was on that. Uh, yep, $17,975. And 17,000 miles run and drive. That's what it says. What the hell? Let's see if uh, we can get this one cranked up. We just don't care about these cars, man. This shit nasty as hell, too. I'll be pretty done with the old nasty ass cars, man. It's cranked up decent. See if we got the check engine like, like the other one did. It does not. So we actually may check this one out, y'all. Even though it's dirty. Let me uh put the scanner on and see what we got. Alright, and that's why I always tell you guys, even though it doesn't have a check engine light, man, that doesn't mean that the light is not on. Um, and then the code that it has is a camshaft position over timing code, too. So it probably jumped timing. I think the uh, Chevy's be doing that. I don't think this for sale right here. I'm not sure. Oh hell no, they trashed this thing. So, man, man, they did the Lexus be they be trashing the Lexuses, don't they? Those old GSs. It's hard to find one of those in really like good condition nowadays. People be tearing them things up. But shout out to the whole Hustle Nation. I appreciate y'all. Love y'all for all y'all support, man. Again, make sure y'all go to whdacademy.com. It's not a game, you know what I'm saying? I do not want y'all to get a lemon at the auction or at a private party sale, guys. So, like I say, appreciate y'all. Love y'all. It's nothing in here today. It's your boy, Big Play Ray. I'm out.